Pop squat. Coming at you. Oh, I just scared the hell out of my cat. Sorry, Peanut. Sorry, kitten. <laughs> you gonna come get me now? Um, Devante sent in uh, this suggestion to listen to a track from Scene Sosa. Uh, somebody fairly new to the scene. <laughs> scene Sosa, new to the scene. Um, and uh, Devante wrote me an email and said, I just think this guy's stuff is really interesting. I'd like you to listen to it and react to it. Um, it's kind of the start of this guy's career, so probably a slightly lesser known artist or very lesser known i have no idea <clears throat> i couldn't find any information about him online um song is two minutes long i uh listened to the first li little bit to make sure that the volume was set correctly and uh the song is called my trap looked like heaven definitely a trap track um and we'll pick up on that immediately and um that's really all I know. I just heard it and was like, oh yeah, that's Trap. I guess the title makes sense. And uh, Kitten is here. Hello, Peanut. And let's check this out. Two minutes. Scene Sosa with My Trap Look Like Heaven. Come on. Okay, so totally shifting gears, and I get such, such, such a cemetery, cemetery, cemetery feel from this. The the DJ sorrow, that sort of thing. And I know he's not the only one who does that, but that really reminded me of that. And I think it had either it had something printed on the back of the record album that said Goth, or they said something like that. Ah, Gothlanta, hosted by Gothlanta, that's what I saw. But, <clears throat> so that got me thinking about the same sort of dark, well, the witch house stuff, that, that genre of things. Uh, I'm going to back up a little bit. Oh, they did say Gothlanta. And real sad shit, like DJ Sorrow. song there's like four or five different styles going on here like I, I, I brought up the cemetery stuff it's probably not a fair comparison but trap something else but there's weird interruptions he's he's really not enunciating i don't want to say he's mumbling but maybe you could say he's mumbling so that that right there is a weird combination of things i don't think his voice is being manipulated which usually on these sorts of tracks that's what we see is a bunch of auto-tune but that's not happening 
the the lyrics are just texture. They're 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 ephemeral. They just flow over you and you can't really understand them. You can pick out a word every now and again. Really a and then the, you get to the back end of the song and it sort of does that reversing gear or going underwater or whatever, just turning the volume down, muting itself a little bit. So there's like a bunch of different things happening in this and it's it's very funky. Not funk funky, but like interesting, strange funky. Really, really interesting. Um, yeah, I'm not sure if you sent me a couple of tracks by Scene Soso, but this is cool. I would like to see if this goes somewhere too, because anybody who's able to experiment with so many different things and get them into one song and actually have it sound okay... It, and I say it sounds okay because it's so many different things in one that I think just in on a first listen, I think it works, right? I It's very modern. It's definitely a song of right now, 2022, or within the last couple of years, because I don't know when it was made. Um, but... Wow, there's a lot going on here. I'm curious to see what anybody else has to say. Feel free to leave comments. If you know who Scene Sosa is, you've heard his stuff before, I'd be curious to see if there's anything else. Uh, it will certainly be a while before I get back around to it, probably, but this was very interesting. Pop Squat. Checking out. Please like, subscribe, and share. Do-do-do. I'll be back. Bye.